everybody, this is Brian again. I wanted to show you the lower garden boxes here. Got some stuff planted in here that looks pretty nice. Pretty happy. So we got some basil here. This is the stuff that we're growing indoors. I planted that this weekend. We've got our garlic chives here. We've got our new starts here coming up. These look pretty nice and full. Looks like our uh, rainbow chard and our Swiss chard is getting uh, getting pretty tall. Looks like it's about to bolt. So we'll probably be ending up taking this out after we harvest off the stuff. We've been we've been using this in some of our sautés for our dinners. But when it gets too tall and it starts to bolt, we're just going to chop them off and I'll put some new stuff in here. I don't know what I'll put in here. If we're going to do maybe some uh, some late season carrots or what. But uh, it's always a nice little experiment area. We've got our uh, garlic chives over here. And these are the bunching onions that we had in the indoor grow tents. So they're out here inside this box now. We'll see how well they do. Then I've got some bunching onion seeds that I've sprouted here. And then we have some beets. Here's our beets. Oh, over here. This used to be actually where the, uh, the boro beets were. For some reason, they did not take off. I don't know if the seed was old or what, but I decided to go ahead and just take those out and put the bunching onions here. That way it'll be in the same area as my uh, garlic chives. So then we got some more garlic chives. These are the two-year-old garlic chives. And then all along around the back there. And we've got our early wonder beets here. I've thinned those out. So last time I think I did a video of this bo these boxes, the, uh, the beets weren't thinned yet. So I've thinned them out to be about two inches apart. Because I want to get beets that are probably about that big. I want to harvest them before they get to be that big, huge size where they get that really woody texture. I can't stand the taste of that. But then over here, you might recognize all these guys from uh, inside the grow tents. Because these are our eggplants. Here's all of our peppers. They've been out here for, let's see, this, the peppers and eggplants have been out here, I believe, for a week now. The tomatoes, they've been out here since the last video I did. I went ahead and set this up. And you may notice there's a, quite a few missing here from the to tomatoes that we actually uh, we grew. So these are kind of the remnants of what's going to go in the garden boxes. But I've planted the rest of them out in the yard, so you'll see that when I do the yard walk video today. And then another thing we're doing, I have to, you know, certain ones we, we marked, then the other ones were in the row where they were at. I decided to do something different this year, and I'm mixing them all up. So that way, I don't know what tomato plant is where. So everywhere in the yard, there's going to be a tomato plant, but I won't know what it's going to produce until I actually see it. So that's something I wanted to do a little bit different this year instead of doing the same old, same old where I'd have, oh, here's all my Cosmonaut Volkovs, here's all my black cherry tomatoes, here's all my uh, Montesino F1s. I wanted to have it just mixed this year to have a little bit of variety, give a little bit of difference in look. All right, well, this has been the update for our lower garden boxes and our makeshift greenhouses behind me there. <laughs> all right, I'll talk to you guys again. Bye.